One of the big areas in banking is going to be identity verification. Now, if you're still in a market that requires you to have a customer come into a branch and sign a piece of paper, you must understand today that you are no longer mitigating risk with that strategy. You're actually accepting risk. Let me tell you why. When you use a camera on a smartphone to photograph a driver's license, for example, those algorithms at detecting a false identity in terms of a driver's license or passport document are four times to ten times better at finding a fraudulent document than a human eye. So if you are still getting someone to come in the branch today and sign a piece of paper for opening an account, understand you are doing something very risky today compared with opening an account using technology like this. Now, some of you may find this hard to believe, but really, a teller in a branch, do you think he's going to be as good at doing this stuff as an algorithm? Plus, we can look at a whole lot of other data, not just the data. We can now start to compare if we have facial recognition, we can look at their Facebook profile and see whether or not the driver's identity and the, and the face that we're seeing through the camera smartphone, does that line up with the Facebook identity and the social media presence of that individual? Is their phone in the same geographical location based on the IP address? compared with the physical address they've given for registration of the bank account. There's so much more data that we can use for identity verification that if you've still got a human involved in account opening today, your bank is in trouble. 